Hi traders, market starting with a big gap up today, 3.5% and usually when a market starts with a big gap up, there usually should be some downside pressure in the direction of closing the gap. So I should be looking for some shorts and uh, Baba looks quite interesting because it's up 1.3% and uh, the market's up 3.5% which means it's not doing as good as the market. So I'm looking for this reversal point here to stop it, to short it and I'm going to short 8,000 shares right now. I'm short, just came down, nice technical reversal, it is trending lower, so I hope this is going to continue, and I hope the market will come down too. The market is coming down, but uh, strange enough, uh, Baba is moving higher, and I have to stop it over 199.30, and it's getting there, oh my god, it just crossed, I need to move out, I need to move out, that's a losing trade, down 5 grand, I am out. My first trade is a loser. Very surprised. Very surprised to see that uh, not working out because you see the market did start up 3.5% but did come down as well. Again, when the market is starting with a big gap up, there usually is some pressure to come down and close the gap. Not, I'm not expecting it to close the gap. I'm just expecting it to move down. So you see the market gapping up. You look for stocks which are underperforming like the market started up three and a half percent Baba started up one point actually more than that but at the point where I shorted it it was up just 1.3 percent nice technical reversal I thought it's going to work out it did not ZM however is a different story because as you can see here the market is coming down now but ZM is down several percent it's down six percent or so so I'm going to short it as the as it's as it comes down now, I'm short 8,000 shares, and again, the trend is very, very clear in ZM. I hope this one's going to work out. Same for MRNA. The market is coming down. I, I don't know why I had the loser in BABA earlier, uh, but now MRNA is down 4.7%. And again, nice technical reversal. Uh, it came up a bit too much from the lows, and I'm going to short it right here. 8,000 shares shorting now. So I've got... Um, Two new shorts as the market keeps coming lower, which should help it. And again, now I'm, I'm now I'm shorting two stocks which are down dramatically. Well, the market stopped coming down and now it's moving up again. When the pressure is to move lower with a gap, you don't expect it to come down all the way and close the gap. You expect it to come down, but at some point it should move up. Now I'm looking for a long. And uh, win is up 14%. That's a great candidate for a long. Look at this technical reversal here over 65. And I'm long, just moved over 65. And again, it's a strong stock. Market's moving up now. MRNA is doing okay. I'm up $1,700, $2,000. It's getting close to my target now. Getting close to my target. Look at the sellers here. 32.46. I'm looking for good. 32.30. Getting ready for a partial. Any sign of a pullback? Any sign of a pullback? I'm going to cover 7,600 shares. Watching the sellers for now. Took my partial. I've got a nice trade in MRNA. Doesn't matter if the market goes up. MRNA is weak and it's trending lower. Same applies for ZM. You can see that ZM just broke down under the lows. It's look, it's looking good. It's looking great. I'm up nine grand. Any sign of a pullback again? I'm going to cover 7,600 shares now. Covered now. I've got two fantastic trades in MRNA and in ZM. Although the market is now moving up a bit. Win is doing great. Win is doing great. I'm up eleven thousand dollars. And I already covered my first loss in BABA and much more than that. So I'm nicely in green territory. And at any sign of a pullback here, I'm going to cover. So again, watching the buyers, I'm up $1.30 or so. Any sign of a pullback, now took my partial in win. So I've got another nice trade in win. And again, you need to follow the market. The market, again, came down. It looked great for short initially, but Baba did not work out. But then I went short stocks that are already trending lower and uh, not just looking bad compared to the market, like Baba was down one point, was up 1.3%, but dramatically down like MRNA and uh, like ZM, which were down like 5 or 6%. But now the market is uh, moving higher, although it's stalled a bit, and that's interesting. 
The market is holding at this position for quite a long time by now, and it came up very close to the highs, did not go over the highs, which makes me think that maybe we are failing to move higher. And now the solution for everything is the market direction, because 60% of the stock you're trading, stock direction you're trading, has to do with the market. Now watch beyond. I'm about to short beyond here, shorting now, because I'm looking at the market, and the market is at the highs, although stalling, I believe, could be, and beyond is at the lows. So again, beyond is trending lower. Although it's up 4%, it is definitely trending lower. So when I look for a stock like beyond, and I'm starting to think that the market maybe, just maybe, is not going to move over the highs, I'm not sure. However, beyond is trending lower, I took this trade. It's a bit dangerous because I don't see the market yet failing. I'm starting to think it could fail. But so far, Beyond looks uh, quite okay. Just moved under the lows, and I'm up like uh, one grand here. I should um, take a look again at the market to see what's uh, going on there. And here's the S&P. As you can see, it still is coming down a bit. And now you can see Beyond and the S&P together. And you can see that um, Beyond is trending low. So whenever the market, the S&P 500, is moving slightly lower from the highs, Beyond, which is trending lower, is is, is, is more affected, affected than, than other stocks. So since it's relatively weak, it's moving to a new low. For, for just a small pullback from the highs. But now look at the red candle here. It's getting more and more serious. And I'm thinking that I need to find some more shorts. Uh, so the market, again, is coming down. I'm um, still short beyond, although it pulled back up a bit and I did not take my partial yet. Look at ZM here, how it's doing. I mean, the market does come down and now I think I should be shorting. And I'm about to short Tesla here now because I'm looking at the market and it's getting seriously close to the lows. And I think if I'm going to short some stocks which are outperforming now, then there's a good chance that they're going to pull back from the highs quite a bit. Now, Tesla is very extended to the upside and so is Boeing here, also up 8%. And I'm going to short Boeing too. And, um, well... 8,000 shares. About to short Boeing. I'm looking for a breakdown under this uh, bear flag here. It's getting close. Watch it. Now it's there. Well, I'm still thinking. I'm watching the market. Yes, the market is coming down. The market is coming down. I'll take this trade. Just a bit under, maybe under 161. Okay. Now. Took it. I'm short. I'm short Boeing and I'm short Tesla. And again, closely watching the S&P 500 to understand where the market's going, because that's 60% of the movement. Now look at the market. We are just touching the lows. In my opinion now, there's no way we will not break down. I mean, we are very, very likely to break down. We failed to move higher. So if the market rejected the highs and then coming all the way down to the lows, Although we did not break down under the lows, I think that uh, it's very, very likely that we're going to come down. And I'm also watching the Nasdaq here, and the Nasdaq just touched under the lows. Nasdaq doesn't count, the S&P counts, but uh, the S&P is just about to break down. I think my shows are about to do very well. And we're under, under the lows, just touched. DAL, nice technical formation. And you can see that it's very close to the lows as well. So I think I should be shorting it. It's not a big stop loss, like uh, 30 cents or so. So I'm shorting here 12,000 shares short now. And I'm looking for a breakdown under the lows in DAL. Market just came down under the lows. So I should be doing well because uh, it's not what happened earlier when the market was coming down due to the pressure of the gap up. Now it's more serious. Now it's a different situation because the market rejected the highs and came down under the lows. It had the chance to move higher, but the buyers did not come in. Buyers did not come in. DA is close to the lows. As you can see, the market is way under. And, it's, and once it failed to move higher, 
I believe that it's more likely to find some sellers here and uh, to be some a little bit more under pressure now. Okay, guys, uh, this is my time. This is my time. Market keeps coming down and look at this beautiful trade in DAL. I'm about to cover. I'm up five grand. I'm going to cover 11,400 shares now. Covered. It just broke down under the lows beautifully. A bit more than my target, really. And uh, everything is working out right now because the market is coming down. And look at Tesla. I'm already up $32,000 here. Look at this beautiful trade. So I'm looking for any sign of a pullback to cover. But again, I did not expect Tesla to come all the way down to the lows or anything like that. I was just expecting that uh, once the market starts to move lower, some stocks are going to, uh, which were a bit extended to the upside. Now look at Tesla, it's seriously extended to the upside. Look at this beautiful upside move. So I was expecting it to pull back down, not exactly coming back down to the lows, but uh, at least get a big hit from the highs as the market was moving to a new low and Tesla worked out fine. So I'm up like $28,000, $29,000. It's moving up a bit. I'm going to cover now. Covered Tesla for a great trade. Look at Boeing, about to cover Boeing. I'm going to cover now, covered Boeing. And again, I did not expect a huge downside move. Both of them were just fantastic trades. I'm really having a ball, traders. Uh, just 45 minutes into the trading session, I'm already up $67,000. Now, who makes $67,000 in 45 minutes? Well, during this corona crisis, I had several days like this. Now, look at the results here. Just one loser. And I started with Baba. I started with a $5,000 loser. And I thought I'm going to have a red day. And look at the rest. Just look at the rest. Uh, Boeing $12,000 beyond DAL, MRNA, Tesla, $27,000 uh, win, ZM. I mean, everything is just working out. And guys, all of these trades were called live in my live trading room. I'm sharing my PL and my picks each and every day. And you can join us too. You can just click here or find the link below this video or wait until the end of this video to join us. You can join our funded account program, which uh, comes with all the education you need for just $500 and a funded $14,000 account. I'm looking forward to trading with you guys. Thank you for watching our video. Before you go, we invite you to join the TradeNet trading team. Our professional analysts will teach you how you can trade stocks from your own home without risking your own money. Click here to learn more about our funded accounts program. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.